Pentagon sought a $50 million shift from healthcare funds panel questions funding source, Silicon Valley Technology Push Congressional Spending Panels have rejected a Pentagon request to transfer $50 million into developing small commercial satellites to monitor adversaries such as North Korea. The decision by the House and Senate Defense Appropriations Subcommittees stymied a plan that the Defense Department said in a budget request would leverage the commercialization and peacetime use of this prototype technology, to develop a low-cost class of satellite technology capable of producing medium-resolution imagery. The proposal from the Joint Chiefs of Staff was greeted with enthusiasm by some lawmakers as the Trump administration works to counter North Korea's push to develop nuclear warheads and missiles that could hit the U.S. mainland. It's something that we really need for many places, particularly Korea. For constant surveillance, Senator Jack Reed, the top Democrat on the Senate Armed Services Committee, said at a hearing in July. But requests to shift, or reprogram, funds require approval from all four panels that authorize and appropriate defense programs. While the Senate and House Armed Services Committees approved of the plan, the appropriations panel said no. Representative Kay Granger, who heads the House Defense Appropriations Panel, notified the Defense Department comptroller of her panel's decision last week. The Texas Republican objected to plans to take the money away from the military's health program, and channel the dollars into a new, unproven research and development effort, according to an aide who spoke on condition of anonymity to describe her views. Read more, pint-sized satellites promise spy-quality images. Chief Granger also was concerned that the money might flow to companies with no experience developing or launching satellites, the aide said. Military surveillance satellites are normally developed by major defense contractors such as Lockheed Martin Corps. The satellite contract would have been managed by the Defense Innovation Unit Experimental, or DIOX, set up by former Defense Secretary Ash Carter, and endorsed by current Secretary Jim Mattis to fund innovative projects from technology startups. Granger also objected that developing and possibly launching new commercial-based, smaller satellites with synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, technology constituted a major acquisition program, and not one to be carried out through a reprogramming, the aide said.